All right, good afternoon. Hope everybody's doing well and got some beautiful weather out there. Hope you guys have enjoyed it a little bit today before we get started. And we are on uh, the 8th of uh, December already, rolling through the class here, getting towards the end. And we only have, uh, Kim, I'll get you set up here in just a second. All right, there we go. Should be all set. And uh, welcome to the two of you now in the class. So um, rocking and rolling today. Anyway, um, even if there were zero in the class, I still would be lecturing because either somebody may listen to this later on or uh, just delayed in, in getting to the class. So um, if there are no questions, I'm going to go ahead and um, move ahead into today's PowerPoint and then um, and then uh, let you get into the lab for more drawing time. Uh, the other thing I want to make just make sure you're aware that uh, um, we'll talk about it here in PowerPoint that the uh, final exam will open um, tomorrow morning at five. We'll talk about that but uh, today being Tuesday so a week from today uh, is um, at 11.59 p.m. will be uh, when your projects, um, the last opportunity to turn your projects in. All right, the last opportunity. Uh, Monday, uh, the 14th, is the last day to turn in um, uh, either responding back to packet uh, seven, that extra credit, or sending in, if you didn't want to do that one, sending in any of the other two uh, extra credit uh, that we have. So Monday the 14th is the last chance for that and that's at 12.30 uh, p.m. is the deadline on that. All right, so with that said, uh, I don't see any questions popping up here, so I will go ahead and move ahead into the PowerPoints, giving you lots of time. So you get today, Tuesday, tomorrow, Wednesday, then Thursday, and then Monday and Tuesday of next week. I would not wait until you know, the last second to submit things, you know, how technology is um, on that. So um, as I put out there previously, make sure you save often, especially if you're doing any hatching, make sure you save before, save immediately after you hatch um, on that. So, all right, uh, that will, uh, everything I can remember to, um, talk about, you know, trying to think about, oh, um, again, make sure on your two-point perspective, doesn't matter if it's the rear tundra or the, um, the front yard project, make sure that you are uh, putting NTS for the scale. This is on sheet number one on both projects. And don't forget as well to um, make sure you have a focal point. What is your focal point of your landscape design? It's not just, uh, a splash or array of plants thrown all over the place. Um, every design factor, whether it's interior design, uh, exterior on a house, they have a have a focal point that draws you in, that invites you into it. We discussed that many, many weeks ago about having, uh, creating curiosity maybe um, with pathways and things like that, that are not maybe just straight, but winding. So make sure you have that, or winding back towards a focal point. So make sure you have that focal point in mind, and that's how you should create the um, perspective as well. Uh, if your focal point is off to the right and Barrett is showing in the in the, um, in the two point perspective, you need to change that up. You need to have the perspective looking with your focal point. And I don't want to say it has to be dead center, but it should be fairly close um, on that. So uh, that so if somebody opens that up immediately, they can not only uh, drawn into that focal point, but uh, they're excited about what the other sheets have to offer based on that uh, two-point perspective, that cover sheet. And that's, again, for both projects. All right, we've got a few more that have entered into the class. And I don't see anything in chat as far as any questions. 
And so we will go ahead and get to the PowerPoints. And I think there's only four of them. So basically what this is going to do is talk about the final exam. Um, like I said, I sent this out this morning on uh, uh, announcements and you, should, and you should receive the email as well on those. Uh, you can open them either in email or you can open them uh, through announcements. There's two separate announcements. Uh, one of them is a PDF and one of them is a PowerPoint. So you should be able to open one, at least one of the two. Um, James, um, again, is not in the class, but he sent me, I just picked up on an email, he sent me that he wasn't any, unable to open one of them. I wasn't uh, sure, he wasn't specific on which one he couldn't open. So um, that's why I sent them in both formats, because sometimes, I don't know, PowerPoints, whatever, you know, depending on what operating system you're working on. And then the PDF should open up with uh, no, no problem at all. But sometimes the PowerPoints uh, can hang up a little bit. All right, so we'll get going on this and make it as painless as possible. Again, thank you uh, for working so hard on this. I'll probably say this many times as we communicate uh, through this week and, and next week. I can't thank you enough. I know it's, uh, you guys are, like I said, juggling a lot, especially with this online environment. So you guys really done well. I hope you enjoy your uh, Christmas break that we have coming up. Uh, the first thing you want to do, if you have not done that already, um, please log in to WebAdvisor and complete the course evaluation. That's, that's separate from those three questions that I had for Packet 7. Um, those are, that's additional information on Packet 7 uh, questions for extra credit. That's extra credit. You don't have to fill those out. And of course, eval, you don't have to fill out either. That's just, we're just asking you to do that. Um, we, as TCC, as all my, everybody above me, all my bosses um, are asking, but I've always asked over, over the years that uh, this is the only feedback I, I really receive. Um, and I find it the most true feedback uh, because, you know, my boss doesn't even sit in a class with me. He doesn't know how um, he or she, depending on what year it was, that know how I perform. Uh, I think the only really feedback if there's, uh, you know, people, uh, students complaining, uh, the instructor isn't doing this or that or whatever it may be. So um, just make sure that um, if you would at least do the course eval and if you would do the uh, packet seven uh, questions as well. Have you uh, go ahead? Give me a second to turn up my volume here. Uh, have you go ahead? Uh, I have a I have a very important. Uh, I mean, I have a important meeting today after after class after one fifty after one fifty. So I won't be here for like at least like one fifty. <laughs> okay. Thanks for letting me know. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, um, so yes, make sure you do um, at least <laughs> uh, at least the uh, Blackboard or the Web Advisor um, on that one. And like I said, if you do the other one on Packet 7, that's great. Uh, and so the next thing you'll do is log on to Blackboard and go to test, final exam. There was two parts on that we talked about previously. Uh, previously, last week, I think we talked about, yeah, it was on uh, a week ago, Monday. The uh, 30th was that? Time goes by, yeah, the 30th. So, um, so the final exam part one and two will open at 5 a.m. on the 9th, which is tomorrow. So 5 a.m. it will open. It doesn't mean you have to do it then. It's not due until the last day is the 15th at 11.59 p.m. But I'm opening it up early in case you're done early. If you're done with uh, part one, uh, early and you want to submit that and you're not done with part two, that's fine. Um, but just remember uh, your submission is final. Um, you must submit, you must click on submit in part one and part two to receive credit for the final exam. So you have to hit submit. All final exam emails are final. Uh, make sure you're submitting the drawings you want to submit in the correct format as per the directions inside uh, the test directions. Uh, there are no resubmits. Uh, first submit submissions are final. Um, a lot of times, or all the time, I say 99% of the time, never say all, always. 99% uh, of the time, I started emails. I start at the bottom and work at the oldest one and work my way up. So if you, uh, you send something in, and this has happened through the semester, somebody goes, uh, oops, I 
sent the wrong attachment or I forgot to attach this and they send another email and I grade the first one that comes along. Um, but I, I look at the timestamp on the second one and I will um, have, I, you know, give you grace on that. But for the final exam, there uh, is no grace on that. So make sure you're 100% on what you're submitting. And what you can do too, if you want to run a, you know, do a test email to make sure that you're, everything is opening up properly. Remember, we talked about ways things should open up. Um, uh, you know, the first sheet, uh, nicely centered, et cetera. Um, on that, on both the DWG and the PDF, you know, it should be that way. Um, you can send yourself an email to test it and just make sure that that is correct. And then if you know that's correct, you know everything is opening correctly, so a nice test email. Um, on that same line and note, I'm having some weird things happening here. Talk about technology. Um, I'm having the, our Ethernet is spiking. Uh, and the reason I pulled that up, um, because um, I was sending some emails uh, through my coordinator uh, emails, and um, they weren't sending. They said, unable to send at this time. I'm like, what? So I thought, well, maybe there's something wrong with our system here. Um, so I just started checking it, it was spiking. Um, started, I was start, just started investigating that uh, before class started to see what's going on with that. Uh, but what's weird, I did a test email from my personal Outlook uh, to my coordinator Outlook and it came, came in just fine. Um, so I don't know about you know, going out, there, and, but I checked Gmail and Gmail is working fine. So I don't know what it is with, uh, maybe something with an Outlook. Um, that's a problem. But anyway, um, you might want to do a test uh, for yourself. Just make sure everything is opening correctly. All right. So no resubmits. The one you send is the one I get is the one I'm going to grade. Okay. So you log on to Blackboard for the final exam. Here are the um, pa or the password for part one and two. They're the same thing. That's ca capital S. I'm sorry. Capital L capital S, lowercase j-o-y, and then 2020, all right? Those passwords are good for both, and they will, like I said, be open as of 5 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, make sure you click on Save and Submit before exiting the final exam, part one and two. Do that on both of them. So you have to go in, even so you're emailing the final exam, you still have to go in to get credit for it. The final exam, you have to go into part one and part two um, and hit submit on that. Read the directions. That's where the directions are at. Um, read the directions carefully. And they're both the same directions, but for those, but make sure you read them carefully. We've gone over the directions. We even pulled them up um, and gave you a chance to take a, a picture or a screenshot of them. Uh, those are the same directions that I showed you a week ago on the 30th. Um, in just over a week ago in um, the same directions I showed you are in the final exam. So there's no surprises there. We went over everything. Um, everybody asked questions that they had at the time. So, um, and you can check with me to make sure I received your, your test, uh, you can sure the test was received. All right, and thanks again. Uh, you guys did a great job. And this is not goodbye by any means because we still have class next week. Um, the rest of this week, um, Wednesday and Thursday, and then Monday and Tuesday will we'll still be here uh, for class time. Um, again, if you finish early and submit early, please still send me attendance um, for uh, the days that you decide not to show up because you're done, you're done. You know, I verified I received your, your both, both tests, um, part one and part two. Um, in the grade in Blackboard, and I received your emails. Um, just, uh, if, you know, and you're done with me, you've had it, you want to get out, um, that's fine, but make sure uh, if you want to keep attendance up, you still, we're still having class on Monday and Tuesday of next week, and then Wednesday and Thursday, we're still having class of this week. So uh, just to reiterate that, so there's no misunderstanding on that. All right, and I'll open up just briefly for any questions. That was a quick 15 minute little talk and hopefully everybody can, I guess everybody can hear me out there because Javier uh, did have a question and so 
uh, nobody has said anything that I'm just, my mouth is moving and no words are coming out. So I guess we're all good on communication for the uh, five of you that are in the class. All right, well, if there's no questions, go at it. Um, I will be here till 3.15. I'll let you know if I take a break or anything. I'm gonna um, already grab something to eat, so I'll be sitting at the desk here. Um, I'll put in the chat box, I do take a little break um, that I uh, um, sometimes do 10 or 15 minute break. And then I will be back, um, as always, I always will be here till 3.15 to answer any questions. All right, thanks for your time and We'll talk to you in a little bit. Thanks, Larry.